hitting a huge milestone they have not seen in years. Reporting more than 900 inches of snow this year. The greatest snow on earth. Home to the greatest snow on earth. But wait. The red snake, all the brake lights going up mm -hmm. through the canyons, right? Been in the snake for like three hours almost. That was the worst time ever. He almost just rolled into me. The next two days we'll be skiing at Alta. Alta is a famous ski resort for its large amounts of snowfall, playful terrain, but most importantly, it is famous for its die-hard local skiers who argue tooth and nail that it's the best ski resort in the world. We are here on the Wildcat chairlift in Alta. Am I mispronouncing it? No, there's no wrong way, but we just say Alta. Most people say Alta. We're going to be meeting up with some Alta locals and we're going to be finding out what is it about Alta. Just like got the best local vibe. The vibe. Yeah, honestly, the soul, as they like to call it. We are going to be meeting up with local friends to explore the resort and see firsthand what the vibe is all about. We are skiing right now with Olaf Hallesson. I just snapped my pole, but it kind of works out. I have a messed up shoulder. So now I can't pole plant and pop it out mid turn, you know, so it's perfect. We're here at the, with the unofficial king of the castle. Tristan Lilly, what do you have to say? I'm saying hopefully it's a little soft. One of the things that I admire the most about Alta skiers is their passion and their dedication. The response I get from them is, well, one, I have a hard time calling them or texting them because they're usually skiing. Your call has been forwarded to an automated voice messaging system. Okay, so I love Piper, but she's not good at answering her phone. Have anything to say about your telephone answering habits? Oh, they're horrible. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> But then when I do get a hold of them, they're like, yeah, I'm skiing every day, just come. And I feel like that speaks to the passion here for skiing and the, the mentality here. Everybody just loves to ski. And how many days have you skied this week? Like three or four. This is my fourth. Okay. And it's Thursday. Yeah. So okay. I still do it. It's just... Ugh. Now, since we finally got a hold of Piper, we decided to ask her and her boyfriend Tristan about what exactly the Alta vibe really is. Easy place to find friends. There's just like so much talent here. It's, you know, there's so many people to rip with and like follow around. <laughs> there's runs with names, but then like within the runs, there's always like three different things, like three different lines that also have a name. But we'll disagree like with the old heads all the time. Like, dude, that, that's not out to 3000, that's the barnyard. What's the nipple? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what? The nipple is the worst, best cliff at Alta. <laughs> yeah. What I noticed from following everyone around is they don't say trail names. We just ski from hit to hit. So this run would be called the nipple to Bombay. Oh God. Oh God. Yeah. What would you say is a typical Alta skier? Someone who just rips, who's there to have a good time, build each other up. I think uh, I love seeing everyone out here push each other to learn new stuff, do better, and yeah, it's super cool. Nice. <laughs> that was awesome. I might be good on that. <laughs> It's just hard to imagine Alta with snowboarders. I forgot to mention, Alta doesn't allow snowboarders. It's quite controversial, but the topic's been beaten like a dead horse, so we're not gonna cover it in this video. Stomp, and then I came over here and just like did a 180 to stop, and it just like popped off. You broke the fucking metal. 
How are you gonna get down there, fam? You're pointing fall line on one ski. I'm doing my best. <laughs> we are heading down from day one, and that was just a warm up day. It's going to be snowing all night long, and tomorrow is Saturday. So there's going to be a lot of people trying to get up this canyon early tomorrow morning to get the good snow at Alta. Why have you two moved to Salt Lake City? Best ski in the world? Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's I mean, a, they have like trademarks, like phrase like it's the best snow in the world i think they like trademarked it so you moved to salt lake because it's the best snow on the world yeah. yeah when i first heard this claim that utah has the greatest snow on earth i immediately chalked it up to a marketing strategy but after i heard the locals repeating it so often i decided to look into it and it's not completely baseless their argument is it is the greatest snow on earth because of its snowpack structure having the warm heavy snow come in the beginning of the snowstorm and the light snow coming at the end of the storm to create a right side up snowpack that is most most desirable for skiers. On top of that, the frequency of significant storms that Utah averages, which is about 18 a winter, meaning that the snow gets reset almost every week and skiers are able to enjoy fresh snow all winter long. So it is 6.06. I've been up since 5.30. The lifts don't open to nine. So the early bird gets to sit in the lodge and enjoy themselves while everybody else sits in the red snake. The red snake, all the brake lights going mm -hmm. up through the canyons, right? But on a bad day, the red snake slithers over the road and skiers can find themselves stuck in traffic. Been in the snake for like three hours almost. That was the worst time ever. Three hours, if there's a good pow day, it's insane. Yeah, it's the longer crazy. the traffic, yeah. the better the snow, right? Will the canyon traffic be the one thing that can successfully put an end to Alta's vibe. So the parking lot says it's closed and it opens at 7.30. So we're successfully pretty much the first people here. Round of applause. Good morning, sir. Okay, is there a good place to wait? Yeah, all the way back out, up and around. Oh my god, this is psycho! He almost just rolled into me. We have successfully avoided the red snake, but not without repercussion. We are here in the lodge two and a half hours before the chairlift starts spinning. But our reward is, instead of sitting in bumper-to-bumper -bumper traffic, we get to be in this warm lodge where you can drink coffee or, as Olaf is demonstrating right here, take a nice nap before going out and enjoying the ski day. We did it, but we chilled late along the lodge. It was part of our strategy. So even though we were kind of one of the first in the lodge, we're still a little far back. And when you get there early, People will drop their skis and walk away from them, and the locals will pick them up and throw them out of the line. Because <laughs> yep. you gotta stand there, you gotta earn your spot in line if you're gonna yeah. if you're gonna show up early. But there's a lot of snow. They're saying eight to nine. We're gonna we're gonna see if that's uh, if that's true out there. That's looking good. I think we just might figure out what this whole greatest snow on earth thing might be about here right now. Greatest snow on earth. We know that already. Okay. Let's go. <laughs> that was fun. That was really fun. Not gonna lie, that is some good powder. <laughs> think of the snow. Oh, the best snow on earth. After the first turns of the day, we can finally feel nine inches of that famous snow under our skis. So enjoy this montage presented and filmed on the DJI Osmo Action 4. I've been down so long. But my mind can't get no rest. Dude, it's good. That one's really good actually with snow. I've been down so long. But my mind can't get no rest No, no This ain't easy, darling Cause the devil's on my trail I've been running so long That my feet don't work no more
Although skiing Ulta is not for the faint of heart, I must say it does have a charm. The people we met were incredibly nice, the terrain was a lot of fun to ski, and when the snow came, it was really good. It's definitely an experience and something all skiers should have on their bucket list. Thank you. If you enjoyed watching this, go check out my latest video on the Nenda Backcountry Invitational. It's got a lot of insane skiing and a great story. Go check it out.